Hi Aries, how's it going? I hope you all are doing well. This is, you know, this is the first time I'm doing this, but it's going to be a quick week ahead reading. I'll be pulling two cards for love, two for career, one card for obstacle, one for advice, one for the divine message, and an oracle card at the end that I'll read the description on. If I feel like I need to clarify, I will. Um, but if you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. Please remember this is a general reading. Only take what resonates. Okay. Um, if this message isn't for you, please leave it in love for those that need to hear it. Okay. Um, also, check out your other placements for full picture guidance. Spirit, give me guidance for love, career, obstacle advice, as well as the divine message for Aries. So, for the love... We have the three of pentacles. We have the three of pentacles and the seven of wands. This is for your career. This is for your obstacle. This is for your advice. The divine message. Let's see, for your oracle cards, Spirit, give me guidance for Aries for the upcoming week. What do they need to know for their highest good spirit? Please and thank you. So for love, three of pentacles, seven of wands. Okay, so I'm going to say this. I want you to take, because there's some things for singles that might relate to people in a situation or something like that. So when this can just take whatever it is and apply it to how, what your situation is, okay? There is, with the three of pentacles, okay, it's about, you know, the details and the quality of something, okay? I feel like some of you, and also if you're with someone, you can reverse the roles. It's like there's an expectation that there has to be perfection. And I'm telling you, perfection is an illusion because nothing is perfect, okay? Nothing is perfect. So... And the reasons we have these bumps and so forth in relationships is because we need to learn from them and we need to work together with them. So it's, you know, it's looking at the big picture and goals here, of what it is you want to achieve, whether you're single or with someone, because at the end of the day, there's always room for improvement within each of us. Okay. Those are our life lessons. I do get the, you know, if you're in a relationship, I'm not getting a strong sense of third party, okay? But if you are in that situation, you really need to value your worth. And we'll get into that when I get to this card a little bit more. But some of you, you know, you do need to work together to resolve some issues that are workable, that are that can be resolved. And some of you may need to have a conversation with someone like, okay, what is this, right? It could be a friends with benefits, it could be, and again, that's gonna tie you into this seven of wands in just a minute when I get there. And, you know, if you are single, I'm going to give a sense that it, it does give me some sense of manifesting here, but also you may be also throwing yourself in your work, okay? And again, that could also be something that if you're in a relationship or situationship, maybe you feel like you're throwing yourself in your work or that your partner is, take that as it resonates. But with the Seven of Wands here, it's all about thinking on your own and voiding out whatever other people say and think. Because at the end of the day, it's you who is 
you know, or in a relationship. And, you know, it says a lot because if you look at this picture, he has two different shoes, right? And which means that this, you know, things, you may be different or you may find someone or you have found someone who may be different than what the people around you, like your family and friends, expect, right? And, you know, maybe you feel like there has to be some kind of something put on, some kind of, I'm getting, a, I'm just getting a sense of like feeling, having to feel accepted. And Spirit wants you, know, you to know that don't allow outside influences to get in the middle of something that could really be beautiful, okay? Or something that really makes you happy. Because you may find somebody that is not your typical type or, again, what other people around you feel is normal or right for you. Only you can make that decision because at the end of the day, you're the one with this person and, you know, it, it really doesn't matter what other people think. And you need to be able to accept that, okay? And, and, and I know that can be very hard. Um, some of you, if you're single, you know, you may feel like you haven't found the perfect person. And again, with the Three of Pentacles, you need to remind yourself that nobody's perfect. No one. We all have our faults. We all have our goods, our bads, okay? Um, and some of you, I feel, maybe if you're in a friends with benefits or you know you're in a third party or something of that nature, there's a sense of like you trying too hard to prove to someone your worth and you need to use caution with that because if somebody can't see your value, then you need to go. And I know that's not easy, right? Because you have those emotions attached here. But at the end of the day, Spirit wants you to know there's something better out for you and if somebody can't see your true worth and value, you need to move forward, okay? So for career for this upcoming week, we have the Hierophant and we have the Knight of Swords. I'm definitely getting the sense that there's some friction coming up this week, okay? It could, you know, you know better than me because everybody's in a different situation. But maybe, you know, with the hard font here, it's like maybe you need to get with some someone to assist you or advise you on an issue, a challenge, a problem you're having, okay? But this is certainly not the time to start shaking things up or having some kind of confrontation because you disagree with someone or vice versa, okay? You need to keep your calm. Because the Knight of Swords, like, rushes in, it's like, sometimes doesn't always, you know, it's like impatient, just, it can come off as very cutting, and Spirit is saying, like, whatever you do, do not assume, okay? You need to get the facts, you need to do the research, okay? Because, again, there is a sense of friction here, and... You can't take it personal. You need to make logical and rational decisions here. And again, there's a strong sense that you need to maybe speak to someone. And I'm, you know, some, you got to be careful of speaking with like people of equal, right? Like, you know, because they may say something or something of that nature. But just use caution, okay? And think before you speak. All right, so let's see what your advice is. No, your obstacle. The Three of Cups. So I am getting the sense that... So I'm taking this in several ways, okay? So from a love perspective... Okay, yes, there could be a third party here. That was discussed of, of, you know, when you come to here about, you know, having that conversation like, what is this? Or, 
you know, if you know it's never going to change, then you need to change that and get yourself out of that situation. Because in the end, that's only going to continue to hurt you and make you feel less of yourself. And I just looked at the recording. It was 1010. Look up that angel number because that is something it speaks of endings. Okay. Also, you could be partying too much or this person, again, flip Flip it as you see fit based on your situation. Somebody could be partying too much and things get laxed, okay? And that affects productivity. Or it could just be that there's some type of toxic behavior going on, whether it be addictions, drinking. You take that as it resonates. Some of you who kind of are sitting home and not getting out, enough need to go out so you're able to meet a new person or something of that nature it can also mean that maybe the friends that you have around you are not what they appear they may not be good for you based on their behaviors okay again it's different for everyone i just wanted to try to give a quick little rundown of the different scenarios because it's different for everyone let's see what your advice is the eight of swords it reminds you that every setback is an experience and there's a lesson learned here okay do not take action you need to loosen up perhaps in some way shape or form um you know look at your actions what are you, what restrictions are you imposing on yourself here? Are you having a restriction from preventing yourself from meeting someone who you really like could have a beautiful relationship with by focusing on someone else or by not getting out of the house? Are you, you know, making assumptions in your head of what you're based on perceptions that you have? Okay, because this is all about surrendering control, period. Although you might not know all the answers or have all the answers like you want, you just need to surrender and trust that there is a bigger plan here. You know, some of you are tied to your expectations and your fears, which is, which is causing you, you know, is not helping you in any way. Again, nothing's perfect, right? And maybe expectations are too high. Again, it's going to be different for everyone. Don't... Again, don't take any action. Look at the current situation. See what's stagnant. Look, look at things for what they truly are. Instead of keeping yourself in this restricted feeling because it's it's not going to bring or manifest anything good towards you you're only going to manifest the things the negativity the up in your head towards you whether it's career love or anything in your life so the divine message is the king of wands the king of wands i see him as a builder okay he builds what he wants there is a sense here that there is it's time to start some kind of new venture or explore something else but at the end it's it but regardless it's like committing to yourself what is it that you're passionate about okay because the king of wands knows exactly what he wants and he will hold on to that he will cherish it he does see it you know it's like he's a visionary and yes, it requires daily work and it, it requires you to believe in yourself here. So start speaking to yourself in a positive way and give yourself positive aff affirmations. You know, I am beautiful. I manifest my dreams, whatever they, that may be. And if you go look under my shorts, okay, every day I do post a daily power message per zodiac sign as a way to just uplift you okay for everyone 
Because I feel like we all need that in our daily life. We all need a boost sometimes, right? You know, some of you do need to spend some time outside. You need to ground yourself. You know, I am getting the sense that a lot of you, you know, the wands signify fire, right? The element of fire, which is you, Aries, right? It's like some of you have survived through hell, through the burning fire of, of, of all the issues that life throws at us, right? And because the King of Wands came up the hard way, that he there was nothing easy handed to him, whether you're male or female. So it's like taking the wisdom you've learned from all the things that you've been through in life and moving forward. So don't panic. Don't assume. Okay. You need to learn to trust yourself and the abilities you have. Okay, and the things that have helped you get through bad situations before, because you do deserve respect, is what I'm getting. And the King of Wands doesn't demand people to respect him. He knows that needs to be earned. Okay, so let's see what the Sacred Traveler has for you. And if you're liking this video, please like, subscribe, comment, tell me your story. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps get these videos out into YouTube so I can continue posting these videos on YouTube. So thank you so much in advance. So you have Voyage of the Heart. Love flows through you and to you. You are beloved. You are deeply loved and profoundly lovable. You are a sacred vessel for love to flow through you. God the creator is love and in your essence so are you. In matters of romantic love all is healing or is already healed on the inner planes. Trust the messages from your heart and follow them even if they are at odds with your mind. Angels and guides are communicating with you. Listen to their soft whispers. The Sacred Traveler wants you to know, joyous love flows through you and to you. You deserve love. There is nothing you need to do to receive this vibrant energy. Tenderness and devotion are finding their way to you. The Traveler walks with a light heart on the path, knowing that she is surrounded with love. It's truly a day for rejoicing. Your capacity for receiving and giving love is expanding. Let your heart lead you forward. Your mission on earth is to deepen your ability to impact and accept love. And that is happening right now. All right, Aries, I hope you have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power and I'll see you soon. Bye.